Hello and welcome to KLM Institute. Today, we bring you a significant geopolitical development in the Indian Ocean, as the United Kingdom has agreed to return the Chagos Islands to Mauritius, ending over two centuries of occupation. This landmark decision follows intense diplomatic pressure, with India playing a crucial role in pushing for the decolonization of the archipelago. The agreement, announced on October 2, 2024, comes after decades of territorial disputes between Britain and Mauritius, influenced heavily by the involvement of the United States, which operates a military base on Diego Garcia, one of the islands in the Chagos archipelago. The Chagos Islands, home to the strategic Diego Garcia base, have long been a point of contention. The UK took control of the islands in 1814, detaching them from Mauritius in 1965 to create the British Indian Ocean Territory. This move sparked decades of territorial disputes, with Mauritius claiming rightful sovereignty over the islands. In the 1960s and 70s, the UK, under a secret agreement with the United States, forcibly displaced around 2,000 Chagossians to establish the Diego Garcia military base. These actions led to accusations of crimes against humanity, and the UK has been under increasing pressure from international organizations like the United Nations and the International Court of Justice to return the islands. India's involvement has been instrumental in accelerating the return of the Chagos Islands. India has long supported Mauritius' claim to the islands, emphasizing the need for decolonization and regional stability. With growing influence in the Indian Ocean and a strategic partnership with Mauritius, India played a key role in diplomatic negotiations, advocating for Mauritius at international forums. The alignment of interests between India, Mauritius and the United States on issues like maritime security and regional stability further pushed the UK toward returning the islands. Following the ICJ's ruling in 2019 and a United Nations resolution in 2021, the pressure mounted on the UK to end its control of the islands. While the UK initially stalled negotiations, citing concerns about Chinese influence, the combined diplomatic efforts of India and Mauritius, alongside global support, led to the recent agreement. Historical Background The Chagos Archipelago was home to the Chagosians, descendants of slaves brought by the French from Africa and India in the 1700s. The UK took over the islands from France in 1814 through the Treaty of Paris and continued its colonial rule. In 1965, the UK separated the islands from Mauritius just before Mauritius gained independence, creating the British Indian Ocean Territory and leasing Diego Garcia to the US for military purposes. This move resulted in the forceful expulsion of the native population. For decades, the displaced Chagossians fought for their right to return to their homeland, a battle that gained global attention. Despite multiple rulings from the ICJ and international pressure, the UK extended its lease with the US on Diego Garcia until 2036, further delaying the return of the islands. India's support was pivotal in this historic handover. As a leading advocate for decolonization and a key player in the Indian Ocean region, India leveraged its influence to support Mauritius's sovereignty claim. India's diplomatic backing helped sway international opinion, with Indian officials pushing for dialogue and cooperation between Mauritius, the UK and the US. Furthermore, India's partnership with both the US and Mauritius in maritime security initiatives helped ensure a smooth transition. The UK's decision to return the Chagos Islands, including Diego Garcia, to Mauritius marks a significant shift in regional geopolitics. The agreement, which will be finalized into a formal treaty, ensures that the existing military base on Diego Garcia will continue operating under joint arrangements between the US, the UK and Mauritius, with Indian backing. Thank you for joining KLM Institute for this important geopolitical update. 
As the UK's 200-year occupation of the Chagos Islands comes to an end, India's strategic influence in the Indian Ocean has played a critical role in shaping this outcome. Stay tuned for more insights on international relations, diplomacy, and global developments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates. How do you see this move impacting Indian Ocean politics? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Stay informed with KLM Institute.